tonight I'm going to do a, um, a colander pour that my husband actually found for me. We were at Marshall's Home Goods. And you know, he'll come home sometimes with like little things for me. He's like, maybe you could use this for your art. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. What is it? <laughs> so this one, I knew what it was. And it's a square colander. Has a little bit of a lip on the bottom, kind of like mine. I'm probably gonna tape off the center a little bit so that you can um, get some type of design out of the middle because it has holes everywhere. But I don't know, it was something fun, something different to try. So I figure why not, right? So I'll get you down on the canvas and we'll see what happens. Okay, you guys, let's have fun, right? So I have, um, so my precious husband got me this colander. It's got a couple little holes right, or like little areas right there. I made a little triangle in the middle. It's called a square colander, I think, but whatever. Oh, I just got paint all over it. Um, but yeah, so I taped off the bottom and I thought, let's do a little pour and see what happens. Like, let's have fun. It doesn't have to be all serious, right? So let me get on the other side and I'll get started. So the holes in this one are not as large. So I don't think I'm gonna get like that starburst effect, but maybe we'll get something else cool. Who knows? Where's my light? Let's see what happens. Huh. I'm like always finding stuff. I'm just gonna let this drip out for a second. I'm like going to the store looking for weird stuff to put the paint through. Like, is that normal? I don't think that's normal. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up slowly. Let it all come out the sides. I see most of my holes closing up. Interesting. No kaleidoscope effect in this colander. So, but it created a really pretty balloon and I like the outer rim, the outer parts. So I don't know, let's stretch it and see what happens. I lost a lot of my orange. Where did my orange go? Almost looks like a, I don't like those little things, but it almost looks like a feather. Hmm, I might try to tape off different parts of that and see what happens. Cause these little pieces right here, those are those little whole things that I was showing you. Um, let me get a, I wanted to get a little corner stopper here. So that I could make it to the edge. I'm gonna lose that little, I hate that I'm gonna lose that. There, see it helps the paint, oh, that's really pretty. Helps, oh, I just got paint, all, ugh, I just got paint all in my hair. <laughs> okay, oh geez, all right. Good thing it's shower day. I mean, every day is shower day. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm in a silly mood. So I'm just really stretching this. Oh, I got, look, I got one. I got one little starburst right there. That's it. I wonder where that one came from. Oh, sorry, guys. I amaze myself. I amuse myself as well. I guess that's really the word I should have used there. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna bring, so that you guys can see it, I'll flip it around. I love that I got to keep the balloon in the center. Very cool. Very, very cool. This is not my regular pour, but you know what? It doesn't have to be. 
So now I'm going to get the paint to move. It's very hard to tilt this and show you guys at the same time. I hope you're in screen at least somewhat. Okay, now I'm going to go over this way here. I'll do it this way so you guys can see. I'm going to get a new corner catcher. that go over the edge there. I like the striped lines in this one. It's a very interesting effect. And then I'll stretch it down this way. The balloon. That's what I'll call this one. How fun. Fun to try different things. And you know, um, Thanksgiving for us in the U.S. is coming up, so I'll probably be doing some more stuff with a turkey baster because I did a few pours with a turkey baster like an injection technique a while back. Just trying to get this down there, stretching it out. Come on, buddy, you can do it. You can make it there. That's why I use those, uh, those little sticks for the corners so that I could save as much of the paint as possible. Did I make it over? I did, so I got a little bit of a ripply effect through there, and my one little thing that I had broke apart. Interesting. I'm going to play around with this some more. This is not a fail. It's not my favorite at, at this point. Um, I needed just a little bit more paint, I think, to kind of stretch this out. Um, I didn't get the effect that I get with my regular colander pour, and I'm using the same pouring medium. So... I got one of them, but I ended up stretching it out. I wonder if I should stretch this a little bit further this way now. I don't think that paint's moving. I think it's done. So I think I'm going to play around with this a little bit more. I, I like it. It's not a, you know, it's not going to go, uh, you know, in one of my shows, but it's interesting. So yeah, I think I'll play around with this some more. Okay, there's the inside of the colander. That's Pretty. So here are those outer lines. That was the one. I stretched it out too much, but that's the balloon in the center. My colors, I needed probably more contrast on my colors too, but the lines, I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I think I'm going to play around with maybe taping off different parts of the colander. You guys can let me know, or if you think, nah, just a waste. But I really like that right there, that effect right there. It's almost like I drug a line through it. And all these little intricate lines here that came through from it, those little cells are just air bubbles. I need to make a paint that doesn't have air bubbles. All right, so there you go. I wish I hadn't straight, if I had had just a little bit more paint, I don't think I would have had to stretch that out as much, and I think it would have been like perfect on the in the center. And you guys always tell me, don't lose your lines when I'm doing my colander pour, so there you go. You wanna get a square colander, you can keep your lines and have a balloon just with no design. All right guys, so this one is still also a little bit wet in the middle, but it is, for the most part, dry. And look at how cool those lines ended up. There's like that feather portion. Really cool. There's the balloon in the center. And I don't know if you guys can see the... Yeah, there it is, that metallic gold. It's actually really beautiful. So not my normal design. I showed it to my husband and I said, look what I made. And he said, oh, really cool. And I said, meh. <laughs> but I do like that balloon. So I think there's some utilization here. I just got to fiddle with it. But I just wanted to show you guys. So there you have it. A little square colander. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Hip, hip painting.